Hello again. Different one tonight. Um, because this is essentially end of day. Well, it's past end of work day, to be honest. This is like 7.30. Um, or so you may think it's past work day uh, ending. Um, I think an interesting topic for this one is, is around the idea of flexibility um, when you're running your own business. And I suppose today is a great example of that and, and where it can be hugely beneficial. Um, and it can be essentially a, a, a perk of running your own business. So uh, when I say flexibility as a business owner, I feel sometimes the immediate reaction is like, oh, you can work as little as you want and you can make more money and you have more freedom and it's all the decisions are yours and that's a great thing. Um, I don't know. I, I suppose it depends what flexibility means to you. But to me, um, the flexibility I've seen and what I felt be really helpful to me is is this type of scenario where um, in the evening I might choose to work on certain things for an hour or two as opposed to feeling like I have to do absolutely everything in this tight window between say nine and four or eight and five whatever it might be um, and I, I don't think it's a, a shock to anyone I mean ultimately 24 hours in your day are yours and you can distribute your work and your business across those 24 hour windows to suit the needs of you or your family or your, whatever it is your interests and hobbies way more so than you can if you're being paid as an employee to work for a business where typically it's easier for them and it makes way more sense for them to say look i expect you to work these hours completely fair I don't really have any problem with it I don't dislike it so to speak um, but for me maybe at the stage of life I'm at right now it just gives me a bit more flexibility which is something I think I really appreciate and, and I value greatly and I, I don't know what the number is um, but would I sacrifice salary or a percentage of my salary if I could guarantee that over a period of time that flexibility yeah for sure I mean, I'm not saying I take like a 50% salary cut, but it's worth quite a lot of money to me. Um, so yeah, that that's that's an interesting thing. So for example, I'm not actually doing anything right now. <laughs> um, it's actually my birthday, which again is another example of flexibility. I don't have to speak to, to anyone to, to take a few hours off today. So I didn't do very much after about two o'clock. I literally did basically nothing in the afternoon. Um, which was nice. I took a call this morning and did a little bit of new business work. It's just something I want to keep moving the needle on. Um, and again, it's my birthday and I'm doing work. And some people might think, wow, you know, that's that's not great. When it's your own business, it's different uh, or it feels different at least. Or maybe it's not different. But to be honest, I think it is personally. And I quite enjoy it. Um, I quite enjoy parts of it at least and yeah I just see it another way which is ultimately if I can do one hour today it, it just keeps the momentum going it keeps keeps things moving along whereas I stop today and maybe something comes up tomorrow and then if you've got two days that um, you haven't done very much and that's not what you want so um, yeah that was today and that's just a general point of flexibility like I think if anyone was to say to me I'm thinking of starting my own business I'd always say, okay, you know why? Um, and if somebody asked me, I would say flexibility wasn't top of the list, but I definitely knew that it would allow me to operate in a different way to what I currently was when I was part of a company um, that wasn't my own. So yeah, it's an important thing to keep in mind. Also, I think there's a misconception that maybe this happens at a point and maybe you can get towards this it's very, very difficult to get to a point immediately where you work less hours than you did as an employee, but you make more money. I mean, I suppose in sense you're talking about your personal profitability. So the way I think about it is, you know, I have an hour rate. What's my profitability per hour at the moment? And it's pretty good, truthfully, by the nature of my business. I don't have many outgoings. Um, I obviously want to increase that in time. And if I can increase it in time, then in theory, uh, unless I just want to make more money or unless, uh, you know, for some reason, 
I feel like that's something I want to pursue, you don't need to work as many hours. Um, you have to be careful though, because in my world, when I say work, I'm paid and already rate for a thing that I do with clients. I'm not paid for the stuff I have to do outside of that time. So let's just make up a scenario. Let's say I'm paid for one hour with a client. I might have to travel to see that client, which could take me 30 minutes either side. I might have to do 30 minutes prep and, and maybe a 30 minute review. So that's another 30 minutes either side. All of a sudden I'm being paid one hour for three hours off work. I think that's just something I'm trying to be really mindful of. So again, when I say flexibility and someone asks me how many hours did I work last week? I mean, the answer I'm going to give them is total hours, not just the hours I was actually paid for. Um, it's something that agencies in general, I think, I mean, if, you, if you've ever worked in an agency, you'll know that you know, your client might bill you. If you're, if you're using a day rate, you might be billed for that, but then, you know, things might come up and it might mean you actually invest more time than you, you actually projected into a project or into your, your um, monthly, monthly um, work for a client. Um, so it's the same thing for me. But yeah, that's, um, that's flexibility. On your birthday, you get to get t take time off. On my birthday, if I want to work, I can, you know. And uh, I think for a lot of people, it's a, it would be a nice thing, but equally with that, increased flexibility comes a greater responsibility not to not to just slack off a lot of the time you need to have a structure you need to work you need to put the time in and um yeah i mean there's always a balance i could take tomorrow off if i wanted to and it wouldn't impact anyone's life bar my own tomorrow because i'm not doing anything with clients um but would it be a wise move probably not um, because it just means there's two or three things for clients for Thursday and Friday that I then have to do very early on Thursday or very late on Thursday, which is not very healthy and again, not very wise, doesn't suit me. So um, with the flexibility as a business owner comes the responsibility to make sure you're still getting the stuff done uh, and finding a way that works for you to do that. So again, I suppose just word of advice, the whole point of this was really just to highlight that. And I think, yeah, if you're, Maybe you're ready to run your own business, maybe you have employees. You know, ultimately it is up to you to to determine what is best for you and what helps your performance. Um, and from my perspective, that's gonna be very different from person to person. You have to find what works for you. Just don't work hours because you think that's the way it should be. Or equally, just don't half-ass it because, you know, you can essentially. Um, so yeah, that's that's the flexibility piece, and um, it's it, it, to me it's always interesting perception of, I suppose how people perceive running a business. In some ways, if you haven't done it, you, you you won't really understand it. And what I mean by that is, if you haven't tried this, I think from the outside it definitely looks better than it is. I love this, but I know it's tough for some people. And I think I've spoken to a lot of people who, by all means on paper, are probably more intelligent, probably are more intellectual, probably are, you know, I suppose, greater depth of knowledge in a certain area than I do. Um, but could they run a business or do they have any desire to? Absolutely not, because the stresses that come with it for them are not something they want to carry. Um, so anyhow, yeah, keep that something to keep in mind if you're if you're considering it or if you are running your own business. Yeah, I'd be curious to hear how uh, how you see flexibility and is it is it a big perk in your eyes or is it really something that you don't think too much about? But um, yeah, one to uh, one to have a think about. But anyway, speaking of flexibility, I'm gonna go now and um, yeah, not do anything else tonight, and I'll probably do a little bit tomorrow night to to compensate taking some time off from my birthday. So that's me. I will be back tomorrow. We're traveling on Thursday. Yeah, not tomorrow. 